These video effects were made in Canva. Stick around and I'll show you step by step how you can make these along with other Canva video effects you can do. First up, let me show you how to do this text behind object effect. Open up a video template, then add your video. I've got this guy working out. Now I'm going to make the clip shorter on the timeline. You'll see why in a minute. Select the video and copy and paste it. So now we have two overlapping videos. Now to see that you have two videos, you can click on position and then layers. Now you can see the same video, one on top of the other. This new layers feature is going to be your new best friend for lots of these types of effects. So it's very useful to remember position, then layers. Now to the juicy stuff. We are going to remove the background on the top layer. Select the top layer, click on edit video, then click on background remover. You do need to have Canva Pro for this feature. I'll put a link to it in the description if you want to sign up for a free trial. If any feature has a crown next to it, it means that it's a pro feature. Another tip, you can also right click on one of the layers and click show timing to reveal the layers on the timeline. If you remember one thing from this video, let it be this. It opens up so many possibilities for lots of different effects. You should now be able to see the backgroundless layer on top of the normal video. You'll also see when you click on position, one with the background and one without. Now let's add some text. You can use one of the pre-made text templates, but I'll just add my own. I'm going to add a header, select the font and then resize it to fill the screen. Then I'm going to make it red to stand out from the background. If we play this, you'll see the text is the top layer. You'll notice the top video is not quite in sync with the bottom video. I think that's because both videos didn't load at the same time, so the frames are slightly off. But don't worry, when you export it, it will be perfectly synced. It might just be my browser or internet connection not loading the videos at the same time. I know there's a lot of processing going on, but I was I saw this and I was worried, but when I exported it, I saw that it was perfectly synced, so it is fine. As long as you start both video clips at the same time, they will be synced. Now, we want to click position and move the text layer underneath the background free video. You can do this by clicking and dragging these dots to move it down one position. Now you'll see the person is in front of the text. That's a cool effect on its own, but we can take this a step further and make the text transparent so the person is visible through the text. To do this, we need to add another text layer. So click on your layers again, click on the text and duplicate the text. Now make sure it's at the top, then click on effects, then hollow. If we press play, you'll now see that the guy moves through the text. Pretty cool, right? Now let me show you how to create this animated split text. I saw this on TikTok. Credit goes to the Lu Fang who puts out some great stuff. Follow them for more bite-sized Canva tips on TikTok. So on a new page, add text on a colored background. Make the background any color you want. I'm going to turn it purple. Then add your text. I'm going to change it to black so that it stands out. Now export the page as a JPEG so that we can turn it into an image and manipulate it as an image. Paste it back into Canva twice. Now you can see I have two layers by clicking on position and then layers. And here you can see the two layers and the background. Now we want to crop the top half on one layer and the bottom half on the other layer, making sure they line up perfectly in the middle. This is what's going to create the split. You'll see the guidelines pop up. This will help you line it up correctly. I had a slight gap when trying to do this. So I used the arrow keys on my keyboard to move the top half down one pixel at a time until there was no gap. Now right click on the image on the timeline and select split page. On the second page, move the top half towards the top and the bottom half down. Now we want to add a transition 
So hover between the two pages on the timeline and click add transition. Select the match and move transition and now you have the split text animation. Again, that's pretty cool on its own, but I want to have text pop out between the split. On the second page, you can add a black rectangle with some text. Make the rectangle black and the text purple, so that's contrasting. I'll also just change the font to Authenia textured and make it full size so it takes up the entire size of the box. I'll just reposition that there. Copy and paste the text and the rectangle back onto the first page. Use the corners to make it really small and then push it to the back so it's not visible on the first page. So I'm just going to make this as small as possible. Center it in the middle, then click position and arrange and send it to the back. So now we can't see it on the first page. Now, when you play the video, the text will appear on the screen. At this moment, we are currently getting a fade effect when the, when the page transitions onto the second page. To solve this, I needed to go into layers and move the black rectangle underneath the text and have the learning text as the top layer. That way, the black rectangle comes in last and doesn't fade in. Then I needed to remove and re-add the match and move transition. That seemed to get rid of the fade effect. It might happen now and again. If you have any other solutions to solve this problem, then feel free to pop them in the comments because I'm sure this might come up quite a lot, especially with the match and move transition. Now they don't tell you this on the one minute TikToks. So I had to spend time figuring out this myself, but hopefully we can all learn how to solve this together. For added style, you can also rotate all the elements on both pages by four degrees to give it a nice look. Feel free to rewind this and follow the instructions step by step and drop any tips in the comments so everyone can learn from each other. Now I want to show you how to do this effect where the text gets revealed with a video. Open up a blank page, change the background to black now open the elements tab and search for letter frames. Then scroll along to the top to where it says frames. Here we are going to use letter frames with the sky and grass in the background because we can add videos to the inside of these. I'm going to search for the font I want, a grandeur upper S. Quick tip, once you've found a letter frame style you want, then click on the three dots here you can see the name of the font and also the tags. You can search for this name to find the rest of the letters. So you can type in a grandeur upper E instead of S, you get the idea. Now, place them on the page and line them all up. We want a video to appear in the text. So I'll click on videos and then I'll search for a red smoke video. Now drag the video inside each letter. Then you'll want to resize the video inside the letter so that it's full size on all of them. You can do this by double clicking within the letter frame and resizing the selected video. This would make them all match up to the different parts of the screen, to their different locations on the screen as I should say. You can play the videos individually or press play on the timeline and they will all play at the same time. As you can see, the text slowly reveals itself with smoke. You can go a step further and add the video behind the letters for a slightly different effect. Or you can remove the videos and just have black text and then have the smoke behind the letters and it reveals the text as black. I've got a couple more cool things to show you. Using the same techniques we just learned, I'll show you how to make this sliced text effect. Then I'm going to show you how to do a shine effect. So stay tuned for that. Firstly, add text on a new page. I've got a red and black theme going on. So I'll just continue with that color scheme. Now export the page as a JPEG. So we turn it into an image. Then paste the JPEG back into the page twice, like we did earlier in the video. You see where I'm going with this. Now select one image and crop to the top off and do the same with the other image, but crop the bottom half off. 
So we effectively split the image in two again. Now we want to duplicate the page and move the top half to the left and the bottom half slightly to the right. Now hover over the first and second page to get the add transition button, then select match and move. If we play that, we'll be able to see it in action. Now I'm going to show you how to add an animation. So it looks like the two parts fall apart. Select the image and click animate. Make sure it's on photo animations at the top and not page animations. Page animations will apply the animation to all the elements on the page. We don't want that. Now click on create an animation and click and drag the element off the page. I'm just going to do a crude animation to show you how it works. So I'll just click and drag it off the page, but you can make it look better. Here, I'm just trying different paths to see what looks best, but you can play around and try and animate it however you want. You're probably eager to try out these animations. So let me show you one more super easy one. This one is the shine effect on text. Like I said, we don't need to make a JPEG for this. Just add some text to the page, duplicate it three times, change the color of the middle one to white or off white or any color you want. So I'm gonna separate these so you can see them clearly. I'll make one of them white. Now click on animate and select the wipe effect. Increase the speed to the fastest setting and position it back to the middle. Now we want to apply the wipe effect to the top layer and position it above the other two. So I'm just gonna grab this one. This one was originally the middle one. So I'm gonna also push this one to the front and add the wipe effect to it. Now, when you press play, you have a quick shine effect. You can add other elements to it as well to make it a bit more sparkly, but you get the idea. If you found this video useful and want to learn more, then check out this video on Canva video tips and tricks.